Hidden Object Guru here, back for more Infernium for the first time in a year. I just bought the game on PC. As you remember, I got sent a review copy on PS4. You might not remember that. There's every reason to believe you don't. But anyway, I got sent a review copy on PS4. And um, it had a glitch where every time you stopped playing the game, it would delete your save. And that was understandably frustrating, I think. And as a consequence, um, I never did finish uh, the game, because I could only ever get an hour into it, because I'm not going to sit down and play this game for 12 hours straight. I don't hate myself. So much. But anyway, uh, waka waka. Ow. Um, right? So you, uh... So there was an issue. So it was on sale for five... I was obsessed with the game... It has a beautiful aesthetic, wonderfully creepy, great world design, like, great world building, great maps, such a clever game. So I saw it was on sale for five bucks on Steam, as it is until this the end of this week. And I'm like, screw it, I'm just going to buy this thing and actually try to beat it. Could I have reached out to the developer and asked for a copy? Yeah, I should have done that a year ago when it first came to PC, but it never occurred to me to do it, so he got five bucks from me. Congratulations, Carlos Coronado. All of this is my incredibly long-winded way of saying this is exactly where I was when I stopped playing the game last time. I had just gotten up to the uh, rainy bridge area. So now we're going to have a look around at the rainy bridge. Uh, yes, Maddie, on the stream, I did play this yesterday in an attempt to get back to where I was. Which I succeeded in doing, which is why we're here now. I know, it's so unlike me to ever pay for a video game. I was putting together the, uh, the Patreon message for my, uh, my upcoming Patreon for the Totally Objective Gamer. Uh, the Totally Objective Game Review channel. And it was like, and it, in the, uh... The section on ethics, I'm like, uh, I will accept any free video game or gift because uh, the nature of totally objective game reviews as a project means my opinions about a game cannot influence the review because it is, an, it is a truly objective review. Meaning, I can like the developer as much as I want and hate the or hate the developer as much as I want, and by definition, it cannot affect the score because it's an objective review. So send me send me games, send me swag, send me cash. It's not going to help you get a better review. Call me names, insult me on Twitter like that one drunk developer did. It's also not going to affect your review score because it's an objective review. In many ways, it's the most noble <laughs> thing I've ever done. <laughs> I couldn't finish that sentence without laughing. Uh, but no, it is the most noble thing I've ever done. Uh, yes. Hey, ghosty ghost. They're so stressful. I love them so much. They're all invisible, but some of them wear bed sheets, but most of them don't. Well, no, most of them do. Just some of them don't. Do, 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 do. I already got... This is a puzzle area where you have to, like, flip switches while being chased by two ghosts simultaneously. It sucks so hard you would not believe it, but I've already gotten through it, so I can just do this. Uh, do this. Thank you. Alright, now that I've got the triangle on my hand... Which was very scary to accomplish, by the way. I can open up this shortcut, so I never have to go that through that room again. Kapow! Shortcut, open up, open five. Dude should be right here waiting for me. Oh. He didn't follow me. It's a little weird. Oh, whatever. When I tried doing screen recording of this game, the game recorded uh, fine. I was getting some footage for my totally objective review of the game yesterday. 
but when I tried to take screenshots while doing screen recording, it bugged out and only took screenshots of the very first image when I started recording the game. I don't know why. It's the kind of uh, break I've never seen before. I think I just grabbed a... Okay. Hmm. Uh, I think I just grabbed a energy sphere for no reason. I believe I thought I had to grab an energy sphere because it cost me an energy sphere to open the shortcut. But I don't think it did. Ah, there he is. You don't see how this game is hard? Well, I haven't been... I've been skipping past the hard areas because I remember the game pretty well. It's very complicated. Okay. All right. Boop. Yeah, and since all of these messages are just like... And as you can see, the way it slightly floats offset from the background, they're just ping, uh, hovering pings floating in front of the walls. They could just He can just have pings from all the different languages floating in front of the walls without any trouble. And that way, there has to be a ping file somewhere with the messages from the um, from the banners on them. So maybe I should check the game's file to see if they're just visible pings. They're probably archived somewhere, so I can't just look at them, but it might be worth checking out. Uh, we got that one, we got that one. Yeah, we're good to go. I want to find out the full story of their spelunking trip that made them find out about monstrous... Uh, mushrooms and witches and drove people insane and they discovered that hell's a real place. I think. Okay. Alright. Save. Oh, this is when he ran off to do the thing himself and that's why she slaps him later. Okay. Yeah, you know, psychedelic mushrooms that make you have visions of hell. Not like... Not like, you know... Uh... Toad. Who is, in his own way, a, mon mus uh, a monster mushroom. When you go through those gates, it resets the position of all the ghosts. Okay, once you've got the triangle hand, you can unlock these without spending um, spike points on them, so that's good. Uh, I told you, Maddie, I'd get to, uh, to it after I'm done the script I'm on. But I will. This I guarantee you. I will check it out once I'm done the script I'm currently writing. I, don't, I can't have anything distract me from that from a creative standpoint. Damn it! Two spikes! And there's so much money inside. That's what I call those. I call those money. Damn, that one's really hard to read. Thought maybe there was a chance I could make some light appear, but there's not. I'm really going to have to play with the uh, gamma on this one to make it readable later. Okay, so plenty of cash inside those. I just need the two spikes. So this room is guarded by a ton of blue dudes. If you can sneak past them, you can get the triangle, which is how I got the triangle. Blue dudes, I think, are faster than red dudes, but I'm not sure. Uh... There's a red dude over there, guarding that thing. I, I, there's got to be a way to kill these guys, and I know they said that in a tip, but I've seen no sign of it. Because, like, there's no way to get any of that stuff in there without waking up the red guy, and it's not like you can run past him. I could set this as a save point, but I don't know if I want to. Oh, Christ, I forgot there was a blue guy back there. What I think I would rather do is go back to the beginning of the game and seeing where the secret passage you open by using the triangle key 
at the beginning of the game gets you. So that's what we're going to do now. I will pause the recording until we get back to the beginning of the game. Yay! I'm pretending that's an accomplishment. I am going to open all the doors first, and I will show you the rainy bridge. This is the rainy bridge area. Like, that's just what it's called. Uh, it's one of those one-way doors, I think. Yeah, you got to make a real commitment. And then, of course, you can come back and open up the shortcut later. And that is where the invisible guys live. We got this one, right? 23? I'm just going to do that to be safe. Why not? I mean, it doesn't hurt me anything. I took one uh, screenshot. All right, so let's zip down to the bottom of the tower, shall we? That was not the way. And we're back. I'm out of the castle. I'm trying to sneak back down to the uh, beginning of the area so that I can uh, get back to the start of the map and see what's behind that triangle door. So what do you want to bet there's just nothing but monsters down there? Nothing but a hundred thousand monsters? But isn't that true of whichever direction I try to go in? Ah, screw it. Let's just take a look. Everybody's gone to the rapture. I got the title wrong. Sorry, Maddie. Wait, there was nothing in here but fuel? I'm so baffled. Huh. That has more than one full bar in it, so you should save it until you have more than one finger's worth of energy to fill up. Okay, I got it. Or else you're just wasting energy. Alright, I could be about to be chased by a monster. Okay. Anything out here? Any place I can teleport to? We're good? Alright. Alright, so this is a turning circle which you can use to sneak past monsters. They start chasing you. Ah, oh, and there's one right there. There's a guy right there. Yep. Everybody's gone to the rapture. I knew I had gotten that title wrong. We good? I feel like there might be a guy right down this tunnel. No, just another super deal. This game is too tense. There's not going to be a guy out here, right? Like, that would be crazy. No, we're fine. And there's another easel. Nice. In case you're wondering, we are now back at the start of the game. Whew! Don't know if you recognize this area, but it was a, a key thing right at the start of the game. And now I remember where the bad guy was, so I can avoid him in the future. Because they're made by people with, uh, generally they're made by people who are focused first on their artistic ambitions, Maddie. Is why walking sims tend to be so beautiful. Like, because for the people who make walking sims, they're like, art and narrative are, uh, like, um, the visual experience and the narrative are intertwined. And I want to make sure people get the mood that I want to express from the visuals and the experience of running around this world rather than uh, more simple gameplay elements or just the flavor text. They want to express things through the setting and that just creates a situation where you have to make it beautiful because that's how you get people on board. Whew. I can't pick that up. All right, well, if you walk any closer, you're falling to your death. Oh, Grusik, don't. That was baffling, though. Whew. There's the bridge with the dude on it. My god, we're almost back to the start, everybody. I'm so excited to find out what's over there. I do 
do like all of the... It's weird, because I like that all of the shortcuts stay open, but I hate that the, all of the elevators stay where you left them. So it's like you'll get in a situation where... You have to call an elevator while you're being chased by ghosts, which is never fun. Oh my god, start of the game. We did it, everybody. We made it back to the start of the game. Let's save our progress. Which one is that, Maddie? An underwater base? Oh my god, this game is so gorgeous. All right. What do you have for me now, Mr. Triangle? What secrets shall you uncover? Have you any tips about what I might find below? No, that's literally just the room I was just in? Yeah, I figured. Soma is the one you're talking about. I just forgot the title. Thank you, Maddie. How would you ever get those glow... that glow nonsense? Anyway, let's go do this. <sighs> oh no, it's a drop. Oh, I don't feel confident about this at all. Oh, is there any text on the wall up there? I'll find out. I feel like this isn't the last time I'm gonna be here. Are you talking about this voice, Matty? This strange voice? The one that's only slightly removed from my 30s newsreader voice? So this place is entirely bit for it, built bit. Built for if you already have double hand spikes. Okay. Apparently I wasn't supposed to come back back here yet. What the hell is going on? Yes, yes. This character is always up to something. God, Jesus! Um, he can't cross the red lines. He killed me. He can't cross the red sand on the ground. Did you see that? Uh, only a few, Maddie. Um... Dragon, hmm. uh, Monster Boy, the Dragon's Curse, you could switch. Like with the press of a button, you could switch between new and old graphics. Halo 2 Remastered, which is a massive Master effect, uh, effect collection. You can just tap a button and switch between the new and old graphics in almost instantaneously. It's actually a really neat effect. Uh, but very few remastered games let you do that. So was there... Yeah, there was something written on the wall. I should have known. Wow, this is really hard to read. Oh, fuck. Apparently, Denny dies. That's Roof. Not hugely surprising. It's a story about a scary diving expedition. Those often turn out to be fatal. No. Well, there it was always going to be if you're watching Stargate Atlantis. I mean, they're underwater, right? Oh no, I guess they're not, because the city can go up to the surface. It's just, Atlantis is just a name, really. All right. Let's get, first, let's get my energy back. I swear I didn't see that blue coat, blue cloaked jerk. Uh, that's when Atari went out of business and everyone, oh, there he is. How did I miss him? I love that he can't cross the red sand. So 
so here's how you get past this guy. Nope. Nope. That was amazing. And there were eight more guys coming. I had, what, one second to feel proud of myself before I immediately got chased down by two of his buddies? Oh no, one of his buddies. The other one's him. Hey guys, it's late. You're not going to jump off a cliff to follow me, are you? No? Okay. What never was? Is that a game, Maddie? Some more red lines, more places to trap these guys. So I'm guessing the blue guys... Can't cross the red lines, but it probably doesn't bother the red guys. I wonder what that switch is going to do. Hey, is he going back? Or is he trying to find me? Well, either way. Hey, buddy. Jesus. Can he cross the red line? He can't cross the red lines either. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's going to give me a chance to get quite a lead on these guys. And, uh... Flip that switch without being in too much danger. Three, two, one. Go for it. I have no idea what this switch will do, but I'm very excited to find out. We're behind the waterfall, I just realized. Faster, 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 faster. What is wrong with you? Well, that didn't work. My mistake was not getting him far far enough away. Did I lose him? No, I didn't lose him. Okay. That's right. Come into this dead end. Move! Oh, look. So what is happening now? Now it's just folding back. Oh, it's so you can jump across. God damn it, game. Why do you hate me? Um, what? Did you know there were gray ghosts that move at super speed? I didn't. He moves three times as fast. The blue ghost goes twice as fast as the red ghost. The gray ghost goes three times as fast. To the point where you just can't beat him in a foot race. And then I jumped off the cliff. This game is torturous. Stop playing it, then. No. Uh, anyway. Hey, kitten. Uh, this is... This is amazing. We're probably gonna turn on... Just because I don't hate myself that much. We're probably gonna turn on the mod that slows down ghosts. You know? I don't think... Like, I know what the developer wants me to do. I can see the experience the developer wants me to have with this game. And I've had it. I have been punished. I have suffered for playing this game. It has been a brutalizing experience for all and sundry. But at some point, I just have to say, I would like to beat this game. I would like to see the full story of the world of Infernium. 
and I don't want to spend 50 hours to do that. And I'm sorry, developer. If that means I'm not getting the complete experience of Infernium. But I honestly feel like you're not going to mind too much because you went out of your way to include a mode that allows me to do the thing I'm describing. And why would you do that if you didn't want someone to have the experience of beating your game, even if they sucked in games? I might be underthinking this. It's possible you are loaded with motives that I don't understand, and more to the point, could not understand because of a lack of intellect. And if that is the case, I am betraying you by not completing your game on the square. So this feels safe. Okay, here we go. Look at how fast this jerk is. How can I possibly get far enough ahead of him to make this work? He runs faster than you do. I have lost. I have accepted that I lost. But beyond that, beyond my failure, oh my god, I am running really low on light orbs. Oof. I know you can refill them, but, you know, I'm bad at the game, so I don't. <sighs> I didn't even go and collect my health. Well, it doesn't matter. I was giving up in that area anyway. Anyway, Red Ash won't let enemies walk through. Oh, now you tell me. Uh, but I will say this, Carlos Coronado, if by some miracle you're ever listening to this, Despite my frustrations, I am still incredibly impressed by your game. I think you've done a stellar job, and I do look forward to seeing everyone, everything that it has to offer, even if I do use shortcuts to get there. I'm not going to start looking up, you know, what to do on facts or anything. I want to explore the world. I just don't want to get killed over and over and over and over again by ghosts and then run out of lives, and then have to restart the whole game. And it's possible I will lose your respect for that. And I will deserve to have lost your respect for doing that. Like, that's not a crazy thing to think. But at the same time, I, I just want to see everything this game has to offer, because I'm passionate about this game. And I hope, on some level, you can see that if nothing else, my passion for the game is of value. Even if I don't have the skill at it. Or yes, the stick to to learn that uh, to beat the game that you might want to see in a player. So yeah. That is my that is my feeling about the game Infernium. It's incredible. It's it's beautiful, it's frightening. I, tonally, the music is perfectly suited. So moody, so interesting. Like, the way you've layered in the plot is super intriguing. Everything about this is just such a professional job. That, uh, I, I do feel a little ashamed that I'm not able to beat it on the square. And how do I get back to the sub-basement? Yes. Stairway to heaven. So where do you think... So here's the big question. Where do you think the two not... The, the double spike hands are? Because there's two basic places they could be. The double spike hands could A... Be down in the sewers. Or B... 
they could be up. Hey, buddy. Uh, they could be up in uh, across the rainy bridge in the sky. Fortress. Now, the sewers are the first place you get a look at in the game. Like, they're the first location you can easily find your way to. Because, you know, they're right here. They're on the way to the Sky Castle. But, the Sky Castle, for its part, is the first, like, really visually compelling area in the game. So I could see that they might want you to be attracted to it first. So what I'm saying is, which is more likely? Sky Castle or the Sewers of Hell? This is the place where the game really starts to get its uh, Dark Souls vibe going. Three, okay, well, this has three spikes. There's your answer. You're supposed to go up. All of this running back to the beginning, finding a bunch of nonsense. It was all a huge waste of Hoguru's time. I'm supposed to do the rainy bridge next. And then we're supposed to go back to the beginning and use the triangle to sort out the... Uh... Is, there, is this a dead end? Can I not get back up? Gotta be able to get back up, don't I? Is that where I just was? Wait. Ah, oh, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. Alright, I was scared there for a second. Mm hmm. So we'll go back up to the rainy bridge, and that's where we'll wrap this up. Whew. I remain impressed, Infernium. I remain very, very impressed. Quantum Conundrum? Come on. Oh. Thought I could have skipped a step here, but apparently not. Oof. What is Quantum Conundrum, if I may ask? blue ghost watching from the edge of a cliff. You're such a fascinating character. What are you up to? What are your dreams, blue ghost on the edge of a cliff? How can I help you make them real? Blue ghost on the edge of a cliff. If I have to spend my last dollar, I will make your dreams a reality. I've gone down a weird rabbit hole with this character. Don't know if I feel great about that. Do 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 do. Yep, I never opened that shortcut, because why would I? This is the wrong way. There's a whole puzzle room up there that I should explore at some point because I'm sure there's more dialogue things I want to get to, but I'm just not in the mood to do that puzzle room right now. I will do it after I've turned down the speed of the ghosts. Much, much later. But yeah, it's the way you can get into that area down there with the save room without um, actually just skipping through the window like I just did. And again, skipping through the window is not cheating. You have teleport powers. They expect you to use them. Uh, it's disappointed in you, Maddie, not of you. But yeah, it's, you have a right to be disappointed in me. I've never heard of the game Quantum Conundrum. Or, I have completely played Quantum Conundrum and I've just forgotten the title. That happens a lot. I'm just going to make sure I got that. I'm sure I did. I'm like 80% sure I got that text, but it doesn't hurt. Takes me an extra, what, two seconds? Oh my god. 
You remember that god awful documentary about Bill Watterson? Oh god. Where we yeah. turned it off half an hour in because I'm like, you're telling me nothing about the far side. You're just talking about how much you like the far side. You mean Calvin? Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, you'll understand why I said that in a second. Uh, far, uh, Calvin and Hobbes. You're just talking about why you like and why it was so important to you. Shut up and start talking about Calvin and Hobbes and its importance. And then it became clear he was never going to do that. And so we stopped watching it after 20 minutes. Yeah. That was the new episode of Documentary Now. Seriously? It's about a guy. They did an episode about a guy who's obsessed with the far side. And so he goes to try and track down and meet Gary Larson. Oh my god. It's amazing. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it, it really is amazing. And they've exactly Wait, captured. Gary Larson no. Oh, he's fine. Okay. Gary Larson's fine. He just retired. Although it would be really funny if he was. Cause yeah. That would be really dark, but very funny. It would be. But he, he worked on it for 10 years. See, there he is. That's what the ghosts look like when they don't have the shawls on. Okay. See? Hey, pal. They're quite intimidating. So, yeah, he, like, goes to the, uh... And now I have no idea where he is. You have to go based on sound effects. Making this game completely unplayable for people who are hard, hard of hearing. Like, literally, completely unplayable. Uh, I really thought... Ah, there's the switch. You notice that switch was unusually fast? It's because they know you're going to be being chased by a monster when you get here. A monster you can't see! But yeah, and how he's just like, making a documentary about himself. And has nothing to say about the far side. Oh... Floating lanterns, the beautiful rainy bridge. This game is a masterpiece. Oh, I have not heard of that. There was a zombie there, everybody. I could understand why someone would, upon having that happen, stop playing the game and never load it again. Like, if you wanted to do that, I wouldn't have any less respect for you after seeing that happen. I'm not the kind of person who would do that, but I get why you would. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru, and this has been Infernium, a game I'm obsessed with in a not entirely helpful or sane way. Uh, if you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions? Suggestions? Uh, anything like that? Go in the comments section below the video. If you'd like to be here for the live stream and these games get played, check out the Discord channel. Uh, uh, that's where I announce them. We'll see you back here for more, but until then, au revoir.